everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are here at a very special event in Miami, Hargerty Social, a venue that brings together car enthusiasts and some of the most iconic cars in automotive history. And this time, it's all about Nissan Skylines, GTRs, and the culture surrounding them. But trust me, there is not one, but two surprises in store for you today. So let's dive right in. As soon as I drove to Hargerty Social, I was a hit with a sea of Skylines and GTRs, each one unique, but all carrying that unmistakable GTR DNA. Aggressive, sharp, and undeniable cool. And while I'm usually excited by anything with a GTR badge, there was one card that instantly caught my eye, and it's something you don't see every day. And this event isn't just about the cars, it's about people. I was invited by Kyle, the founder of South Florida 240SX, who is a major player in South Florida car scene. Kyle is also a passionate Nissan enthusiast, and you might recognize his name from the Hot Wheels Legend Contest. He's the proud owner of a Cookie S14 that actually won the Hot Wheels Legend Contest, which is a huge achievement. His car was selected from hundreds of incredible builds and is now immortalized as a Hot Wheels die-cast car. That's not a small feat, and it's a statement to call dedication to the Nissan community and the car culture. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more awesome content like this. But honestly, today is not about Kyle and his Cookie S14. It's about something bigger, something legendary. Let's get to our first surprise. Check this out. This is a 1973 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. I only seen this car once before, and I honestly didn't expect to spot it here today. The moment I laid eyes on it, I knew it was something special. This is one of the original GTRs, and let me tell you, the history behind this car is just incredible. The 1973 Skyline 2000 GTR is a true classic. Not only it is one of the first models to bear the GTR badge, but it also laid the foundation for everything that followed. Just look at the lines, the chrome accents, that iconic grille. It's a piece of automotive art. It's rare to see one in such a good condition, and being able to get up close to this one was a real treat. It's car like this that remind you why the Skyline name is so legendary. This car is the beginning of an era for Nissan, and you can really see why it holds such a special place in the hearts of GTR fans. But this was only the first surprise of the day. While well, this 1973 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR stole the spotlight, there is someone else here who has played a massive role in the entire Nissan GTR legacy. And this is when the second surprise happened, and it has been one of the most exciting moments in my automotive life. That's right, Hiroshi Tamura, the godfather of the GTR, is here at Hagerty Social. Tamura-san is one of the masterminds in the development of the Nissan Skyline GTR, and also he played a key role in the development of the R35 GTR. Having him here to speak about the history and future of the GTR is something I never imagined would happen. Tamura-san took the stage to address the crowd. Let's hear some insights he shared with us. It was my first color, Ken Eddy had a blue, sky blue, something like a blue color, the homage. Wanga Blue, by the way, Wanga Blue is secret name because Wanga has sometimes underlandies, some night, you know. Races, see, over 300 kph in public. Can you, can you, do you know about this story? Yeah. Like a midnight club. Midnight club. And doing about some super, super crazy stuff. You could about for smoking another, my friend. Yes. And today we are for doing about for over 200 bucks in the public world. But my point is, for one that means about for some culture name. It's a Japanese, but some people doesn't like the kanji or Japanese kimono because of the salesman. Japanese, especially Japanese salesman is or thinking about for that. English is cool. That's why don't use about wanga. Wanga means base in English. So base side blue. That's the full origin for starting off for uh, this very first time of GTR called A-side, very side And, and, Midnight Purple, 
the, the Papo is also my friend recommendation, you know, my decision. Because this is start from 33 start. Not my church. I uh, belong, I started my career for scavenging here. After the 33 star long shot. That's why 33 and 34 and some part of 35 to create. This was a moment I will never forget. He shared stories of the early days of Skyline's development, the challenges they faced, and how the GTR became the icon that it is today. To hear all from the man himself is just incredible. Tamura San's talk wasn't just about technical details. He talked about the spirit of the GTR, how it always be more than just performance. It's about creating a car that offers a unique, thrilling connection with the driver. His passion for the GTR legacy was contagious, and it made me appreciate the car even more. After the talk, we had the chance to meet Tamura Sans in person. It was amazing to ask him about the future of the GTR. While he didn't reveal much, it is clear that Nissan has something special store in the future for the R36. What made this event so special wasn't just the incredible cars, but the people. The GTRs and Skylines were definitely the stars, but it was the energy, the stories, and the passion from the community that made it truly unforgettable. From the beautiful restored R32 to the modern R35, there was no shortage of incredible cars here today. And it's clear the Nissan GTR will continue to be a symbol of performance, innovation, and automotive passion for years to come. Before we wrap up, I want to give a huge thanks to Kyle for the invite, to Hagerty Social for hosting the event, and of course, a massive thank you to Hiroshi Tamura for taking the time to speak with us and share his wealth of knowledge about the GTR. This event was a truly celebration of Nissan legendary performance cars, and I'm so grateful to have been part of it. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the behind the scenes look at Hagerty Social Miami, and meeting the godfather of the GTR, plus getting to see that rare 1973 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below which was your favorite GTR moment or model. Until next time, keep driving and keep living that car culture.